Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing the Foundation Paper 1 Maths GCC uh, exam paper here from 2023. This is question 14 onwards, so if you want to look for question 1 to 13, please have a look at the other video. I'll put it in the description below. So on the grid, we've got to draw the graph of y equal to 4x minus 1 from minus 2 to 2. So I'm going to draw a quick table x and y, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Start with the easiest ones, when x is 0, y will be minus 1. When x is 1, y will be 3. It's going up in 4s, if you know your nth term. When x is 2, it'll be 7. Each of those is 4. So we're going to be going down by 4 here. So I'm expecting minus 5. Put minus 1 into there. Minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Minus 1 will be minus 5 minus 9 there. And we've got to put those points here. So again, start with the easiest one, start with 0. When x is 0, y is minus 1. When x is 1, notice the scales are different. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 7. And then going down when x is minus 1, it'll be minus 5. And minus 2 will be minus 9. And then using a ruler better than mine, get a straight line there, because um, I'm doing that with one hand. Okay, uh, that'll give you a nice three marks there. If you've got a nice straight line there, then you would get that. Okay, but the most important thing is get those values correct so you can plot it. Question 15 here. Steve is buying a car. The car costs £12,000. Steve pays 25% as a deposit, and then the rest in 20 equal installments. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out what 25% is. So 25% is the same as a quarter. So I'll take a quarter times 12,000. That'll be 3,000. So then what's left is 9,000. So 9,000 is going to be divided into 20 equal installments. I'll do that as a fraction because it's a non-calculator paper. So 900 divided by 2, and a 9 divided by 2 is 4.5, so it'll be 450. So each of those 20 payments will be 450 pounds. Okay, that's four marks because there's a lot of steps there. You have to find a quarter of 12,000. You have to find the amount that's left and then divide those into uh, 20 equal parts. Okay, that's question 15. Question 16. Shah takes an exam. The exam is out of 60. She needs to get at least 70% to pass the exam. Uh, Shah uh, scores 45. So 45 out of 60. Well, if you think about it in terms of minutes, if you know 60 minutes is an hour, that's three quarters of an hour. Um, and three quarters is more than... 70%, so it should be fine. Anyway, um, reduce that as a fraction. I know that that's three quarters because there's three fifteens and there's four fifteens, which is 75%. And 75% is greater than 70. So Shah passes. Okay, two marks there. Move on to question 17. Three-fifths divided by one-sixth. Fractions here, so invert the second one and then multiply 18 over 5, which would be 3 and 3 fifths, um, or 3 point. Oh, sorry, they've said leave it as a mixed number. <laughs> Read the question, uh, mixed number there 3 and 3 fifths. There's the improper top heavy, and there's the uh, mixed number there. Three marks there. Right, I'm now going to skip from questions 18 to 24 because they are the same as in the higher paper. So do have a look at that. I'll put that uh, link in the description below because there's some overlap on these questions for question 18, 19, 20 on prime factors, uh, 21, 22 as well, and 23 and 24. So do have a look at the higher paper. There's some overlap there. 
Uh, let's jump to question 25 now. A piece of glass has a mass of 27 grams and a volume of 10 cubic centimeters. Do you want to work out the density? And if you remember the triangles, uh, well, density is mass over volume. They've given us in the units that they want it. Sometimes you have to do a conversion, but they've given us grams and cubic centimeters. So I simply need to say that density is 27 over 10, which is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. A nice two marks there. Question 26, work out an estimate for 5.7 times 8.2 over 0 0.26. Have a look at my other videos about estimating. What you really need to do is round to the nearest whole number or something like that. So 5.7 is close to 6, 8.2 is close to 8, and I'll divide that by 0 0.3. So I'm going to do 48 divided by 3 tenths. So I'm going to do uh, 480 divided by 3, uh, which will give me, if I do some bus stop division there, 1, 6. I'm going to get about 160. Okay, but they'll give you a range of answers that you could uh, have got there because the rounding, they haven't told you what to round it to. I've chosen to do rounding to the nearest unit there and to the nearest tenth there. And then done that fraction there. 48 divided by 3 tenths, you have to invert that. So it's 48 divided by 3 tenths, which is 48 times 10 over 3, um, which is the 480 divided by 3. Okay. That's three marks there. Right, last question for this foundation paper one. Expand and simplify 3x plus 2, 2x minus 5. I like the algebra questions because they, uh, they don't say a lot and a lot to read. And the, if you know the technique, it can be straightforward. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times minus 5 is minus 15x. 2 times 2x is plus 4x. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. That's expanding. Now we have to simplify any like terms. You have to collect them. There's no other x squared. But minus 15x plus 4x is minus 11x minus 10. And that's a nice two-mark question. Right, factorizing x squared minus 16. This is a difference of two squares. So difference, i.e. subtraction. Two terms that are both squares. I want to write them with two brackets. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 16 is 4, but I need the signs to change so that the middle term would fall away. So you could check that by expanding. There's x squared, then it's minus, and there's minus 16. Minus 4x plus 4x would cancel each other out. So in this case, you don't get a middle term like you would there. And that's another mark to give a total of three marks to finish the paper. Okay, that's the foundation paper one, full paper in two videos with a bit of reference to the higher paper where there was an overlap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and good luck for your exams.